Hello guys, let's jump into skeletal anatomy of the foot and ankle, starting with our bones. Here on the medial side we have tibia, and here on the lateral side we have our fibula. They both go all the way down and connect to talus, uh, with uh, the talocrular joint, but we'll get to that later. Um, they also make up the tibia here, we have um, on the medial side our medial malleolus, and on the lateral side here we have the lateral malleolus that's an extension of our fibula but we'll get to those in landmarks uh, anyways they connect to talus talus in its turn connects on the bottom to calcaneus uh, our heel bone and uh, anteriorly it connects to navicular um, tarsal that holds up the medial longitudinal arch uh, from navicular. As we go a little bit forward, we have our three cuneiforms, one, two, three, uh, that all connect to the th first three metatarsals. Um, from there we have, um, on the lateral side, we have our cuboid, um, again, uh, connecting to those three cuneiforms and calcaneus. And uh, as I already said, we have our metatarsals, 1 through 5, and then we have our phalanges, uh, 1 through 5. Phalanges 2 through 4 have um, three bones in them each. We have our proximal, intermediate, and distal phalange, um, and uh, our hallux, our big toe, has uh, only two. It has proximal and uh, distal, and we'll get into the joints between those later. And I think those are all the bones. Alright guys, let's start with the joints. Uh, let's start with our phalanges actually. So here we're gonna have um, uh, at the very end our distal intermediate uh, phalangeal joints, uh, which we call abbreviated dip. And um, uh, on the proximal end we're gonna have um, our proximal intermediate phalangeal joints. Um, it's important to note that our dicta only has the distal intermediate phalangeal joint because it only has one joint right here and we say it's a, it's a distal one um, right and then we have our metatarsal phalangeal joints right here where our metatarsals connect to our phalanges then where as i mentioned previously our tibia and fibula connect to talus we have a um, talocrular joint and under our talus right here um, we're gonna have a uh, subtalar joint that connects uh, talus to calcaneus. Alright guys, let's start with the landmarks and uh, as I've already mentioned, the malleoli, so on the uh, medial side over here, um, uh, it's gonna be a part of our tibia going down, we have our medial malleolus, um, this little bump right here, and on our lateral side as a, a part of our uh, fibula, we're gonna have our uh, lateral malleolus. Um, and later on we'll talk about the tarsal tunnel that goes here. Um, right. Next we have dome of talus, which is just the upper version of talus over here, where the tibia and fibula actually sit on. Then we have our calcaneal tuberosity. It's uh, this part of calcaneus. Right, that's where the Achilles stamen connects. Then we have our cystinaculum telae, which um, is going to be on our medial side. I'm going to flip the camera a little bit, I hope that doesn't change the view. And our system naculum tele is going to be... Can we have it in the neutral position? Thank you, neutral position. Um, is going to be under our medial malleolus. Uh, it's going to be right over here. Uh, okay, then we have our uh, medial tubercle of calcaneus, which is um, on the bottom of um, uh, calcaneus, and it uh, it's where the plantar fascia starts. Then we have our uh, sesamoids of the first metatarsal. Uh, it's they're going to be under the under the big toe right here. There's going to be uh, a tibial sesamoid and the fibular sesamoid. Uh, again, uh, we're going to have tibial is the medial one and fibular is the lateral one respectively. So if we lower that, uh, finally on our uh, on our sorry yeah lateral side. We're going to have the uh, tail of fifths, which is just tail of fifths metatarsal right here. And that's where the um, peroneus brevis is going to connect to. So it's an important attachment for some of the uh, muscles later on, tendons. 
oops, skipped over one. I skipped over navicular tubercle. So to find navicular tubercle, we're going to find going down this bump over here. This bump is going to tell us where our first metatarsal is. So anteriorly of this bump over here, it's going to be our first metatarsal. And posteriorly, it's going to be our navicular. After we're going to find our navicular, we're going to go down to the side. And there should be a little bump right here which is our tubercle of uh, navicular. It's not too far away from our cystinaculum tele. Okay, there we go. All right, let's jump into ligaments and let's start with um, here on our lateral side. We're gonna have our anterior telofibular, which is um, our t from here to here, our telus connecting to our fibula. We're gonna have our uh, calcaneus fibular ligament, so our fibula connecting to our calcaneus right here, and then we're going to have posterior telofibular, so right here from fibula to uh, posterior talus. Um, so anterior telofibular, calcaneus fibular, and posterior uh, telofibular. Next we're going to have anterior tibia fibular ligament, which is right here at the top, where tibia connects to the fibula, anterior tibia fibular, and posterior tibia fibular, or just tib fib uh, for short. Um, on the back, next we're going to have the deltoid ligament here on the medial side of the foot. We're going to have a uh, deltoid ligament, it's called so because it's in the shape of a triangle. It's going to be right here, uh, connecting to the medial malleolus. We have our deltoid ligament. Um, next we have our plantar calcaneal navicular ligament, which is actually our, just our spring ligament located right here. On, oh, there we go, right here. And finally, we have plantar fascia uh, on the sole of the foot, stretching from the medial uh, calcaneal tubercle to the heads of our uh, metatarsals. And those are all ligaments. Finally, let's get down to our arches. Uh, here on the medial side, we're going to have a uh, medial longitudinal arc. Um, on the lateral side, we're going to have the lateral longitudinal arc. Next, we're going to have in the middle of our foot our transverse arc, or uh, where the um, tails of uh, metatarsals are. And where the heads of metatarsals are, we're going to have our uh, metatarsal arc.